G'day, welcome to the Chicken Channel. I thought we'd do a recipe from the home of chicken itself, Southeast Asia. It started off as a jungle fowl, didn't it? And now look where it is, all over the world, the most popular meat on the planet, without a doubt. Okay, we're gonna use chicken breast and we're gonna do a Thai style salad. Now, the chicken breast I have here, what I've done, we're gonna grill this and because we're gonna smear it with some paste, I've split the chicken breast right through the center there. Right? Because once you put a paste on the outside, the sugar contents can burn. We want a hot grill, so we don't want that sitting on the paste on a hot grill for too long. So away we go. Now the paste I've chosen here, this is an authentic Thai red paste. And of course there's some fantastic different brands out there. Check out, find one you like, but massage it in. Now that's the reason I've got the gloves on because the Thai paste has got a lot of fantastic sharp ingredients in there and they can stain your fingers. Smear it really well into the chicken, let the flavours develop two hours, three hours minimum, but overnight's absolutely fine. Now to the grill that we did. Um, what we're going to do is take the ones that we did earlier and some oil, some tongs and move over to the grill because we need the grill to be super hot. Very important here. Hot grill means that the flesh will go on the grill, leave it there for a crust to form and it shouldn't stick. If, look, you can get anything to stick, but it gets its best chance of not sticking. Now the grill etiquette is this. We're gonna oil the grill and oil the chicken as well. All right, important. But because we've got the paste, on the actual chicken skin. Once I brush it with this, the paste will be brushed off. And that's why we've got ourselves this spray oil. You know, when this first started coming out, I, I didn't like the look of it, it didn't feel natural. It was a bit like, you know, that sort of thing, or like that, you know? But it's very, very effective for jobs like this because it doesn't take the paste off, but it oils it lightly and evenly. So there we go, done, done. Straight on. And being thin, just a few minutes either side. While the chicken's cooking, let's make our dressing. Now this dressing embodies a very important principle in all cooking, happens to be Thai, but in all cooking. I'm adding here into my bowl, this is palm sugar, right? And you really don't need to know the quantities because you're going to do this to taste. I've got some fresh limes and I have some fish sauce, right? These three ingredients, sweetness, sourness and saltiness, you add to your own taste. So into the palm sugar, I'm going to splash in a fair bit of fish sauce. Now this has become such a mainstream ingredient, fish sauce. It's no longer considered to be obscure or slightly strange or even stinky for that matter. But when it first came out, it had a very, very unusual, strong, pungent sort of a smell. But it's such a wonderful flavour mixed in with other things. There we go, just doing that to taste. Lime juice, also to taste. Now these are the Tahitian limes, they're the ones we get in Australia, and they don't have seeds. But you want this dressing that we're making to be quite sharp. So I'm quite happy to put in whole two limes for that sort of rough quantity there. In we go. Now what we've got there is a classic balance of sweet, salty and sour. And at this point, I would taste it. In fact, at this point, I will taste it. Perfect. Done. That's our dressing, that simple. Back to our chicken. One quick turn. Always hurts, doesn't hurt, sorry, to give it another little spray on top. And you see that? See how it didn't stick? We oiled both and left it alone, okay? 
oil and leave alone. That's the barbecue mantra. In fact, what I'm going to do is switch this off now, let the residual heat finish cooking the chicken. Begin a residual heat. Now, look at this salad. Anything that's fresh and seasonal, nice and crunchy, is just brilliant. Red capsicum, these are little echelots, little Thai onions, finely sliced, mint leaves, carrot that's been shaved using a peeler, mild chilies, red and yellow, cucumber, whatever's fantastic and in season is what you want. Shredded away, ready to go. This is wong bok, Chinese cabbage. All right? I think it's a great ingredient to put in there. I'll use just a few inner leaves. Again, sharp knife and shaved. Right down to the fine leaves at the end. In we go. Just like that. Such a healthy dish. The only oil we've used is in oiling the chicken for the grill and that really just blows off on the heat anyway. Let me show you this before I cut it. You can buy these in various Asian shops. They're preserved uh, mangoes. You can get pawpaws, you can get any sort of, sort of preserved fruits for this recipe. It just puts a certain tartness, certain sourness to this recipe. It's all about those mouthfeels that are really quite alive. And that's what this recipe is all about. Again, cut a nice slice angle and in we go. Earlier, to prepare the garnish, I prepared some peanuts, just some raw peanuts, which I toasted on a gentle heat until, until they started to brown up on the sides, and then removed them and chopped them similarly, so that provides a bit of a crunch as well. This is all done. And because the chicken was sliced lengthways, the cooking is rather quick. I've got no feelings in my fingers whatsoever, so at home, if you're going to do this, let it sit there and rest for a while. Right, perfect. Put some gloves on or a tea towel, whatever you want. But again, just like everything else, finely sliced and Thai flavours are there. Collect everything straight into the salad and follow that with our dressing, which we'll just give it one more whisk. There we go. Put about three quarters of the dressing onto that. Right, just a toss to make sure everything get some of that wonderful dressing, including the chicken there. Now there's flavour on the chicken itself, the red Thai paste. And I guess the total amount of vegetables you'd want here would be about six cups for very, two very large breasts. And remember, it's a very healthy sort of a recipe, right? Loads of fresh vegetables, lean chicken. And I really should be eating more of it to be able to tell you the truth. Anyway, there, done. All we do now is present. We just mound up a huge pile on every plate. But I just want to show you one thing. You know the kaffir lime leaves? Right, here's one now. Right, you can see they're joined together. All we want to do is shred some of these. They've got a fantastic flavour. I'm just removing the stem. So you can see the in the centre there, there's that stem. Let's remove that. Discard that. Line up our leaves and with a very sharp knife. Now, if you've got a sharp knife, you can do this at home. Otherwise, you can not do it, leave it out. But the trick is, just shave little bits like this. Because if it's too chunky, you get a big, strong mouthful. But the presentation is classic Thai, and the flavors are also fresh and lively. That's all you want, shreds like that. To serve our dish, find a nice Thai looking plate, pile up a big pile of salad on top of that and the garnishes are very, very important. Nice and crunchy, deep fried shallots, the peanuts that I did earlier and then drizzle some more of the dressing all the way around that and finish off with the Thai leaves. Back to the home of chicken for one of those classic Thai recipes. I think you'll love it. <laughs>